So we're here on our property right now and it's a beautiful morning and it's one of those moments where I'm super grateful and can't believe that this is my life. We got here about a week ago and we've been working really hard clearing trees, um, having campfires literally every single night. We're here for only a few more days and then we hit the road again. We're trying to get as much done as possible on this property before we head on out to the East Coast. But this is the first time we've been on our property since we've owned it, really. I mean, the first day we bought it, we were here for like five minutes and then we had to leave. But this has been two whole weeks of us just living here and friends are coming over and we have people camping out on the property and it's just so surreal. Like we've dreamed of having our own property for a long time and here it is. There's a few things I've been working on with this property. There's a lot of brush. You got all these really small trees in between the big trees. And I don't want to clear them all out throughout the whole property, just the spots where we're doing a lot of walking and we want to make some trails throughout the property. Um, there's also a ton of fallen down trees over here. So we need to cut them all up, throw them into the fire. And then I've been taking all these really big rocks and stacking them up by the tree because I know that there's going to be projects that I could use really big rocks for. I'm not really sure what I'm going to build with it, but I just know I want to be prepared for when the idea comes. So right now I'm just kind of clearing up a bunch of leaves and brush wherever we're doing walking just to kind of clean up the property, make it look a lot nicer. When we come back on May 28th, we'll be able to do a lot more work. Well, I'm just out here working and doing some stuff and then Phil's here. Woohoo! And he's wearing our new shirt. Look. We're gonna hang out here for another couple hours and then we're gonna head to Silver Dollar City where we have to play some music and Phil's gonna be hanging out with us all day. It's gonna be awesome. Yay! Hey, Sawyer, say hi to Phil. Okay. Um, I remember the first time they ever had one of these was at your house and they were obsessed. Last night and got rid of a ton of stuff. <laughs> it was like I knew. So the sun just came out. This is a great time to plug in the solar panels for the anchor.
just like that, we're all plugged in. So we're bringing in 124 watts right now, but I think it's mainly because my solar panels are dirty. So I got some cleaning up to do. Plus it's all clouds. So it's really not that bad for having a bunch of clouds, but it, we put these out whenever we can so that we can optimize that sunlight. But it's super easy. You plug in the solar panels right in there, attach them and you're done. That's it. Nothing else to do. If you watch any of our videos, then you most likely know who Anchor is because they're one of our biggest sponsors. We've been working with them for a long time now. We love them. We use them for everything off grid when we're outside of our bus. It's been awesome. At nighttime, it powers up all of our lights, which you'll see tonight. We used it to plug in our friend's bus. So we have a lot of friends parked on this property right now that don't have really good solar systems in their bus. They have been actually plugging directly into our anchor, which is super cool. And we just power this up by with the solar panels and then it's good to go. So thank you, Anchor, once again for sponsoring this video. We got Pete over here helping raking up leaves, putting uh, lots of trees in the fire. We're trying to clean up this whole pile as quickly as possible. Hey, we got CJ. You guys may know American Idol. We got CJ here. Uh, thanks for letting me in. Uh... Okay. All right, so these are my friends, Kim and Peter, and this is their van, and they tour in this thing all over the country. I say all over the country, but this van only has like 52,000 miles, right? Yeah, between 50 and 55. Yeah, so there's like not a lot of miles on this thing. So it is for sale currently. Now's a really great time before they keep driving it all over until someone buys it. <laughs> if you guys want to share, like, what are your, some of your favorite uh, things? What makes this build more unique? If someone was to take this on mm -hmm. for their own, like, what could they do with it? Um, yeah, tell me all your favorite stuff. The, the floor uh, is super solid. I don't feel like it's gonna let any water through or anything like that. So what's going on here? This is like, this is really unique um, because you guys are board game fanatics. Oh, yeah. So you built this with that in mind. Mm -hmm. So this is a two part table, but it's kind of collapsed together under the bottom and it's there's a mount right here and a mount right where Jane is sitting. And so you can separate them. We wanted a very big table because we play very large board games. We fit like six people in this van, just like having a party. And it's also your bed, like this yeah, goes down yeah. and creates your... And is this a queen king? What is this? It's like it's in between slightly king king. larger than a queen. The bed is basically kind of like a square. It's like a 70 by 71 inches. Um, so we liked that because no matter where you're parked, no matter what angle you're at, you can orient yourself to be sleeping with your head up. If you separate them, then they can individually yeah. pivot. Another way we did it was we just set up this one on this mount and made this side just a bed so that we didn't have to like put it down and take it up. So if you're a solo traveler, you can do yeah. constant bed over here and just pivot yeah. this around. Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. So only one of what well, part of this can turn into a bed, not the yeah. whole thing. You do have yep. to be clever about your cushion arrangement. So if you wanted to like do work outside, you could. <laughs> Like sit here with your emails <laughs> or like if there's like like a tailgating, you know, mm -hmm. people are outside and yeah. hanging out. You can have your food right here yeah. and it just moves right. Yeah. What are your like heating and like cooling options mm -hmm. in here? What do you guys do? Yeah. So for cooling, we have uh, these giant windows open up. It's like a T vent window. Mm -hmm. And then we also combine it with a Air Max fan on the roof and you get like a really nice cross breeze. Nice. Um, and then for heating, we have a gasoline heater underneath our passenger chair. And it's hooked right into the gasoline tank. There's an auxiliary port that ProMaster already has. So it pulls directly from our normal gasoline tank for the van. It'll heat this whole entire van up. Oh yeah, what? it gets really toasty in like five minutes. That's amazing. Um, sometimes a little too toasty. <laughs> How big is your water tank? Our water system is just super simple. It's, uh, is it like six gallon? Two, two six gallon Two containers. six gallon uh, fresh water tanks directly underneath our sink. And then we have a seven gallon gray water. So it just, it's a super simple system. Water pump and accumulator, so it flows out pretty mm -hmm. smoothly. In fact, you can go through your water supply faster than you want to. <laughs> yeah, you just take the, the jugs out, fill it with water, put them back in. So you don't have to find like an RV water area. You can just- Nice. Some like, a water spigot somewhere and just fill it right, right up. Brilliant. And you guys have a fridge? Yes. Yes, we do. Awesome. How's um, that been? What kind of fridge is it? It's a Dometic. Do you know how big it is? 
I think it's a hundred and forty. We can show it in the video. That's yeah. that'll be more meaningful. I don't than the remember exactly, anyways. but it's a pretty large fridge for a camper van conversion. Like most people have a smaller fridge. And what about your trash? What do you guys do? How's that work? Uh, we literally just put a uh, a grocery bag on the back of our passenger seat. You just fill a bunch of like Walmart bags, mm -hmm. and then whenever you go to yeah. gas stations or Walmart, yeah. you just throw them away. Throw them yeah. away. Yeah. So you have lots of storage, oh, I see yeah. too. And the cabinets, like they don't, like you have to really tug on them to open mm -hmm. them, which is really great. I have not been yep. able to figure that out with my drawers. Um, and they got like, what are they, struts or what do you yeah. call those things? Yeah, struts. Yep. Yeah, and so they close like really nice. Okay, I see you have a closet right behind yeah, your front seat. Yeah, that is, um, I think the best thing I put in here. Um, Cause we're <laughs> avid backpackers. And so we have lots of backpacking gear and we're like, where are we going to put this? Mm. And the top thing we have a space for board games. Um, and then there's a space underneath for like your shoes because shoe storage is always a problem in these things. You don't know where to put it. <laughs> and then underneath is a, uh, is a drawer for our toilet. So we, it's like a water closet, but it's like a half water, half cute closet. But so we have 400 watts of solar on the roof and then 400 amp hours in the battery bank. And you have like dimmers, like light dimmers oh, in yeah. here. Yeah. So yeah. we have, that uh, is awesome. there's a lower set, upper set, and there's also LED lighting. Brilliant. Uh, that connects to the phone. And I love your ceiling, like wood, mm -hmm. what is it, tongue and groove? Yeah, yep. that's like one of the first things I built. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for showing me your van. I've had fun playing board games in here. If you guys are interested in purchasing this van, uh, feel free to head to the bio below. Um, there's going to be a link there for their listing and you can check it out. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to us. You can reach out to them. And we're so grateful to have you guys on our property and we're going to be super sad to see you go. All right, that's all for the property right now. We have to get to Silver Dollar City so we can start setting up and playing, you know, cause that's our job and stuff. It's been a really cool thing. We have a really great routine going on where we work in the morning, go to Vintage Paris Coffee Shop, get our coffee, go to Silver Dollar City, play our shows, have so much fun, and then come back and then do a little bit of work before enjoying a campfire at night times. So we're now heading, Phil's taking me to Silver Dollar City and it's gonna be great. We just got to Silver Dollar City, so now we're gonna eat some lunch first, then we're gonna go set up. And I got Phil with me. Woo! She gives me my food. All right, so we're on a quick break. Me and Phil are gonna go find some tater twists because they are awesome and I douse them with ketchup. Mmm. The sad thing about only getting half an hour breaks is by the time you get to the tater twists, the line is way too long. We could wait, there should be a performer. I'm gonna risk it. Too long. I'm just saying, our green room is popping. 
slept in the hotel room for a week and she bought the all dinner. Because I don't know for the most part. I think that, I think that we got pretty lucky with that, especially in March. <laughs> All right, we leave here tomorrow morning. So we're kind of packing up everything, getting it all ready to go. Uh, we're driving to Emily's hometown to do a few shows in that area. We're gonna miss this a lot. <laughs>